there are non-black men that do fall in love with a black woman but I think those are the ones that genuinely speaking are just falling in love with the person it's not necessarily because they're black um they just happen to really like her and she's a black woman and they don't really care you know if they've got to integrate into your family you see them sometimes wearing the cultural attire at the wedding they love the family they love the culture so we are going to the short clip just talk about this video, which I thought was quite interesting, as both of us are black women, Rose is a black woman who's going to come. And given the whole, um, I don't think we talked about it, I talked about it in the live, but given the whole kind of uh, controversy that transpired of Passport Bros, I wanted to know what people think about, I don't know, I don't know if it's the same thing, but the same sentiment in Passport Girlies. So I am going to play it. Why did you get to that place where you thought to yourself, well, I might be single forever? Pretty privileged and like growing up and then dating. I was literally never desired. Like I was the girl that guys came to to spit at my homegirls. And I was crying out. I'm like, God, if I'm the person that you need me to be single until I die. But I was like at that level of peace and acceptance that like this happily ever after isn't for everyone. A lot of Black women say that they get much more love and appreciation from non-American men. Has that been your experience? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Say, are you live or not yet? I think Black women do get taken for granted in the U.S. And there is an appreciation and an adoration and an admiration that um, international men do have for Black women. And this is fetish aside, you know, hypersexualization aside. There is this like, oh my goodness, you're a goddess. And what have I done to be so lucky to be in your presence? And that can be overwhelming because you might not be used to that. At whatever point, I guess when you had that conversation with God, you said, I want my next greatest adventure to be love. There's this thing called a Eurorail pass. And you basically can take a first class train um, to 33 countries. Um, I think at any given moment, I was probably chatting with 12 like, quality men. And I took away preferences, like after I realized that. At any that, given moment, I was talking to 12 quality men. <laughs> Black women, please We're not go to Europe. Pretend that this is not a bar. <laughs> okay, so what's your thoughts? Girl, <laughs> where do we start? So what's the, what's the ultimate question? So I guess the question is, do you think, and I'll put it down, do you think that Black women get more love by non-Black men? I mean, and obviously, her context is American, but obviously, we're in the UK. Similar, some somewhat similar in terms of Western. Do you think that um, black women get more love by non-black men? Because she's talking about our, she's talking about our part of the world. She's talking about Europe, and we know Europe. So <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I I don't know if it's and this is going to be all the way controversial. I don't know if it's to do with race. I think when, when what are we when we saying love? So in terms of relationships, so she's saying she's success. She successfully met somebody who's non-black, and as a result, she's like, guys, let's let's. I'm just letting you know that this is how you need to do it. I don't believe that's true. I think, and 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 I let me start off by saying it's a fantasy. Okay, relationships are tough, <laughs> whether you're black, white, Asian, or bloody. I don't even know what, right? Religions are tough. It has nothing to do with race. I think um, there's a need to paint a picture that grass is green on the other end because maybe within the community, we've all just struggled. There's just been a gender war. And for me, what I'm getting from this conversation, I mean, the, the key thing that I, I need us to also hear is she said, I let go of preferences. And I find that a lot. When we start to date in other races, we don't have preferences or we don't have that much demand that we have for our own kind. So then love becomes easy because your, your requirements are simple. To say then that your, your relationship will be solved or your, all your problems will be solved, I don't believe that's true. I'm raised by a white Caucasian father from the age of seven. I will vouch and tell you that even within that relationship with my mom and my stepdad, there was problems. It was not to do with race. Um, and I don't want to start painting this false narrative because I think somebody, we're all seeking for this answer and this five step to success and to relationship. It's not there. And I, I don't, I don't agree. I think sis is selling us a dream and I'm happy for her because I want my black sisters to win in love. But I don't think that's truly the reason as to how she met that person. I think she met that person because she let go of the preferences that she had. She put herself in a different environment. And then she met somebody who was into her. 
that's what it was. Wow. Drop the mic. And I think, yes, uh, you know, the fact that you were actually raised by, you know, a white man, you, you've you seen an interracial relationship and the ups and the downs and, and just the way people glamorize it. That's quite interesting. Um, Rose, what's your thoughts? Um, I think hopefully you've seen the video um, backstage. Um, but what's your thoughts? Do, you, do black women get more love from non-black men? <sighs> I think it's it's difficult to say because when we talk about getting more love, it's like, what are we referring to? Like, are we saying that more non-black men lust after black women? Is it that they love black women in the sense of, you know, they appreciate us with everything that we come with, with our culture, our blackness? Is it that they love black women? You know, just in this sort of like fantasy way where they have this idea of what a black woman is and they want to explore it. So I think it's difficult to say if they get more love that, um, from non-black men. I think, obviously, we know that people are fetishized, right? We know that that is a thing. Um, it happens on both sides of the coin. Black men tend to get fetishized, you know, by non-black women and the same with black, black women. Um, and I actually have heard a lot of black women outside of this um, footage say, you know, when they've gone to certain countries in Europe, like Italy and other places, they get so much attention from um, non-black men. But then I think the question is, where does that end? Because I don't really see them marrying these black women. Like you might be getting attention from them. They might be showing you love because you're new, right? It's like when something other than ourselves, we often, can become quite obsessed with it because it's something new it's something that is so different and I think that often does happen um you know we see images like for example in in the modeling industry right they often when they do have black women it's these like really tall dark black women and you know but then if you see the way that they're treated behind the scenes they talk about how they're treated when it comes to like their hair, their makeup. Sometimes they have to do their own hair. They have to do their own makeup. They don't even go out of their way to buy makeup in their color. Like they actually, so when it when we talk about love is like, I feel like it's a very surface level thing. Like they love, you know, black women because they talk about our curves and, you know, but we're, we're a spectrum. We're not all the same at the end of the day um so yeah I, I just feel like it's, it's just very surface level um I know that there are times obviously where there are non-black men that do fall in love with a black woman but I think those are the ones that genuinely speaking are just falling in love with the person it's not necessarily because they're black um they just happen to really like her and she's a black woman and they don't really care you know, if they've got to integrate into your family, you see them sometimes wearing the cultural attire at the wedding. They love the family. They love the culture. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's I don't think they get more love. Yeah, no, I would agree. I, I, obviously, I haven't watched the whole video, so maybe it's a context. Obviously, we can see that, the, that they've edited different parts of the whole um, video to get people interested. And that's obviously going to get a lot of black women and a lot of black men, you know, watching that video. I'm aware of that context. Uh, we already know the statistics. We know that we are the lowest, you know, swiped on, you know, these dating apps. We know the reality of the statistics. So it's kind of like maybe that's her personal experience and it's unique. Uh, I don't know if it's something that black women get more love. I think we definitely get, and she said to take it aside. She did say, take it aside, but I don't think you can take it aside because I've traveled a lot in Europe and, when I realized that they're liking me first because I'm a woman, <laughs> because I'm a woman, and then there is a fetish, and they've said it like there's there's boldness in Europe. Like guys have said it to you, I've never been a black woman, you know, you dark, you're dark, and I find it funny, but I'm not happy. I don't find it attractive. I'm not like what's the word? I, I don't find it complimentary. I'm not sitting there going, oh my god. I'm sitting there thinking like, Ugh, is that how you speak to me? Um, I've had guys when I went to Egypt just looking at my breath. My breath ain't even that big, but just staring at it. Silicon, silicon. I'll never forget when they go like silicon. I was like, bruv, how's my breast silicon? It's not even that big. Um, so, but so for me personally, my experience that they assume that we're prostitutes because unfortunately a lot of African women are sex trafficked into Europe as prostitutes. 
um, and made to work as sex workers. So this this whole black non-black men give love. I don't know where she. T- I don't know where that's from. I don't understand it. You know, maybe she had yeah a very unique experience. Now, I the last thing I would say is that I do think it's sad. She's so beautiful, and just the fact that she didn't get love that saddens me because to me she was gorgeous. Uh, I think she's a very gorgeous black girl. I'm not just saying that. I just genuinely thought, oh, she's really, really pretty. Um, so it was even surprising. And obviously, maybe she glowed up. You know, a lot of us did glow up, you know, when we were from, from when we were younger. But it, to me, shows, again, you know, America is a different kettle of fish, a different pond. But when black women do say that like, they can get no love from their own black people, and likewise, men say it too, it shows you how striking it is. Because you're sitting there thinking, like, at your big age now, you're telling me no black guy moves to you. Like you, you girl, like are they not are they are they blind? What are they looking at? Or maybe the black guys that are moving to you don't like. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I, I I disagree as well. I don't I don't think it's true. I think it can be true in certain pockets and environments. You know, you can go to Italy and you find this amazing Italian man that does wine and dine you. But the question is, is he marrying you? Is he taking you back to the family? You know, is it like a fantasy? Is it a a romance like Greek, you know, Greece, you know, the, the musical? Like, is it summer loving happens so fast? Like, it ain't lasting because the family is not going to accept it. So, no, I totally agree. 